the Namibia and Angola Joint Trade Committee is tasked with identifying potential sectors and areas of cooperation in trade and to further develop the implementation thereof. Namibia's Trade and Industrialization Minister Lucia Ipumbu bemoaned trade volumes between Angola and Namibia, which she says have declined since 2019. She urged the committee to interrogate the factors behind this trend and come up with solutions. It is incumbent on us to endeavor to create a conducive environment, specifically for the private sector so that we expand our industrial basis. Allow me therefore to charge this joint trade committee, specifically those of you that are going to be members of this committee, to make sure that you take on the activity of stimulating and enabling our economic activities to run on full scale from today on. Ipumbu noted that since the two countries belong to various trade-enhancing groups on the continent and globally, opportunities created by such groupings, coupled with the sisterhood relationship, should be embraced. We can have our regional value chains that we can champion as two sister countries to add the value up to one level to our raw materials and then the other country that have the capacity can finalize. And we can as well bring in our other neighbors. Uh, it can be Zambia or TRC. One of the reasons why Namibia and Angola have not been trading on favorable terms is because Angola is not part of the SADC trade protocol to enjoy lower tariffs. Angola is in phase of uncertainty. Angola is in advanced phase in preparation to be, take part in the free zone of commerce uh, in SADC, where Namibia is already a member. Uh, this process is, uh, without a doubt, uh, give a favorable uh, environment for business in the region, uh, the same way increase the volume of uh, commercial exchanges and offer of uh, goods and services to the consumers of Southern Africa. The Joint Trade Committee will be meeting twice a year to resolve matters related to its mandate. Renata Rinkura, NBC News, Swakopmund.